Hi, welcome to the Asylum Seeker Resource Center. My name is Con Carbanio Tidis. I'm the CEO and founder of this center. Asylum Seeker Resource Center began back in 2001, just before the Tampa. It began at a time where asylum seekers had nowhere to turn when they needed food to stop them from going hungry. That's why I started the place. It began in a little shop front in the heart of Footscray as a little class project with a group of TAFE students, a few bags of food and a few hundred dollars. In the first eight years alone, we became the biggest asylum seeker organization in the country. More than a million hours of free assistance worth something like $100 million without a single dollar from the federal government. Virtually nothing from any form of government. The place is about people. It's about ensuring that people seeking asylum have somewhere to call home. It's about having a place that's going to fight without fear or favor for people's human rights. It's about knowing that there's somewhere you can turn where you're never going to be turned away. The first eight years alone, we didn't turn a single person away and help some 7,000 people fleeing persecution and oppression from every corner of the globe, from some 100 countries. Hi, Ismail. Hi, how are you? I'm good, OK, how can I help you? The place is about community. More than 700 people in any one month will volunteer. In any one week, there's about 600 who come through our door to give their time. Okay, well, I'll just check with him. We're about changing the world. We're about saying that our country can be a better place. It can be a humane place. It can be a just place where when people seek asylum and flee for their life, that we're a country that values freedom. We're a country that believes in a fair go. We're a country that's not going to turn our back on people that are the most desperate and oppressed walking the globe. The Asylum Seeker Resource Centre is here because asylum seekers don't get a fair go in Australia. We're here because asylum seekers are denied the right to be included. They're denied a safety net. They're denied protection. We're here to take a stand. The centre seeks to do four key things. One, provide aid. Because people seeking asylum are 1,200 times more likely to be homeless, 12 times more likely to be unemployed. The average living income of someone seeking asylum in Australia is zero dollars. Most people live on no income destitute, forced to live like beggars in one of the most prosperous countries on earth. Most asylum seekers have no access to health care and all of them have no access to anything that is federally funded. They're what I call the living ghosts of our community. People made to feel invisible, people not allowed to participate. It's humiliating to do that to people, to let them know that there's no place for them in this country. And that's one of the reasons we're here, is to let people know that we're there to support them. And our aid is seen across the board. There are some 23 different services here. Persons seeking asylum can come into our organization and they can get everything from a free hot meal. They can sit down and break bread with someone and know that they're welcomed and someone cares about them. They can pick up a parcel of food to make sure when they go home, their family's not going hungry. They can come and see a doctor for free so they don't have to live with sickness or with hunger. They've got lawyers here who will fight tooth and nail for their human rights. We've got an aid program, so if they're a mum with a newborn baby, there are some nappies there. There's a MET ticket so they can get out of their home and they're not stuck at home feeling like a prisoner. Because it's a different form of detention, and that's the one that's caused by poverty and isolation and despair. And we seek to pull down those bars through the aid that we provide people. We're not just here to provide aid, but we're here to also provide empowerment to people. They're strong, resilient, courageous people, people who seek asylum, and they want to stand on their own two feet. No one wants to live the life of a beggar, and so we provide empowerment to people. That is by teaching them the life skills and building on their capacity, building on the strengths and knowledge and struggles they've already had just to make it here in giving them as many opportunities as possible. We do that through our employment programs, microcredit schemes, mentoring programs, all our fantastic social and community development programs, from art to theatre to sports, to something as simple as teaching someone how to cook a meal, especially for men out there. And it's about allowing people to stand their own two feet and saying you're resilient and you're strong. It's about believing in the capacity of people. So we do aid, we do empowerment. The third thing we do is justice. We're here to change the world. We're here to end every single policy that denies asylum seekers equality in this country of ours, this beautiful country of ours, where asylum seekers are second-class citizens. We fight for everything from fighting for people's 
chance to get asylum. More than a thousand people have their freedom because of the work of our organisation. Hundreds every year. But we're also fighting for an end to every single policy that denies asylum seekers true equality. We want to see that every person seeking asylum gets a fair go. That they're not discriminated against. That they're not denied the most basic fundamental rights that you and I take for granted every day. So we're wanting to change that world and we'll keep fighting until we have a world that we can call fair and just for asylum seekers. Our ultimate dream is to close our doors because that means we're no longer needed, because that means no one's going hungry, no one's going homeless, no one's living their life in despair. That will be the great success. So we do aid, we do empowerment, we do justice. The fourth thing is community. Whether it's the 600 people who volunteer their time, the thousands who walk through our doors every year, from little 12-year-old schoolgirls who collect food to give to us, to people into the 70s and 80s who grow their own vegetables to come and provide food for the tables of asylum seekers. We're about community, but we're also about building pathways, movements for social change. We have these amazing partnerships, whether it's through our education, our employment work, our health work, our housing, setting up coalitions and networks to create a space where asylum seekers can participate in mainstream Australian society. Their ultimate dream is to be treated just like me and you, to be able to call themselves an Australian, to be able to say that they've got a home, a place where they're welcomed. What am I needing from you? I'm needing you to do three things for us. I'm needing you to participate. I'm needing you to donate. I'm needing you to advocate. Participate by becoming a volunteer at the, the Asylum Seeker Resource Centre. We need your time and energy and passion. Participate by getting people together to donate. Donate whether it's your money, donating food, donating med tickets, getting your workplace together or your school together to get involved and to contribute. We need you to advocate from the kitchen table to your local member and let them know that this system is intolerable and unjust and we want to see a fair go for asylum seekers. Let your voice be heard. We only have the society and community that we want based on us taking a stand. We can't afford to be silent. Everything is at stake for the people that come through our doors every day. It's their very lives at stake. And that's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for their freedom. We're fighting to make sure that no person gets sent back to a country where they're going to be killed, where they're going to be tortured. The Asylum Seeker Resource Centre, for most people, is the only place they've got left to call home. It's one of the few places they know they can go and not get turned away. It's one of the few places that they know will fight without fear or favour for their freedom. But we can't do this without your support. We can't do this without your understanding, your passion, your compassion. We know that most Australians want a country that is free for all and that welcomes all. And we know that most Australians believe in a fair go. And that's all people seeking asylum want. We ask you to join us in making that dream possible and to help keep the flame of hope burning brightly in the hearts of all. Thank you.